Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre, and today I want to talk about maybe upping your game and doing something something better than the usual New Year's resolutions. I, I know that a lot of folks decide over the New Year that maybe, maybe it's time to lose some weight, maybe it's time to get organized or develop some new habits, but if we're really super honest with ourselves, we don't really necessarily believe that we're going to follow through on that stuff. And there's an interesting uh, timing piece at this time of year, which is that in January, we're, we often see a huge influx in folks going into treatment for substance use disorder. And I've seen that for uh, about 20 years now. Year after year, uh, there's something about the holidays. Maybe it's a time of reflection, a still point where we kind of naturally take stock. Maybe it's spending time with our families or noticing family histories and patterns, but an awful lot of us start to consider maybe it's time to make some changes with our drinking or with our use of substances, and and maybe we decide that it's time to talk to somebody or, or get some professional help with that, or maybe we just decide to go on the wagon for a while. Dry January has been a trend for uh, over 10 years now. It started out in the UK, and it's a very simple, straightforward challenge, which is to simply go 31 days without using alcohol. And that's obviously a brilliant investment. Now, uh, you don't have to be an alcoholic to decide to take some time away from drinking. And depending upon what your goals are uh, for the coming year, it could be a huge boon to the results you're trying to achieve. I think we often forget that alcohol contains an enormous amount of sugar, and it also contains a huge number of empty calories. So if your goal is weight loss in the coming year, or if you're struggling uh, with a family history of diabetes, or you're already looking at your A1C, uh, this is a fantastic way to improve your overall health. And it'd be interesting, treat it like a challenge and see what kind of changes you notice in yourself, in how you feel. Uh, what kind of, maybe some extra income by virtue of not buying alcohol, maybe some unexpected benefit. And I say, you know, you're certainly not really giving up anything important or precious. Uh, I know for a lot of us, the idea of a reward at the end of the day or something to treat ourselves is important. So that too could be a challenge just for this month. What are you going to do that's different, that's healthier? What, what are you going to bring into your life that's an investment? And what are your goals for the coming year? Um, I think all of us have vague intentions, but we don't necessarily get down to actually planning. And more importantly, actually introducing some accountability into what it is that we're seeking. Now, if you're anything like me, accountability is vital. My good intentions are not sufficient. My ideas and my plans often fall through. But as soon as I share my goals with other people, I increase my follow through about a thousand percent. Too many of us view it as acceptable to let ourselves down or disappoint ourselves. But as soon as we bring in someone to kind of hold our feet to the fire, it really improves things. And accountability is just asking someone to follow up with you about your goals, not somebody else telling you what to do, not what somebody else believes you should achieve. But for the people who meaningfully support and encourage you, this is just one more really pragmatic way for them to help you ensure that you get the results that you want by making sure that you put in the efforts that are required. So I hope that you're setting some goals for yourself for the coming year. I hope that you're really mindful of your self-care. Uh, we just got through the holidays. For a lot of us, uh, the winter is long and hard. Maybe we spend a little too much time on the couch or eat a little much too much takeout or spend just a little bit too much time uh, in front of a screen. So I hope that you're connecting with friends and family, even if that's just virtual. I hope that you're taking good care of yourself through the course of this pandemic. And I hope that you'll reach out to me. Uh, if you have questions about substance use disorder, trauma or mental illness, uh, please write to me, jim at sobernow.com. Would love to answer your questions. Uh, would love to hear about topics that you'd like to see covered in future videos. And I'd love for you to check out our site, sobernow.com. Just move to a subs monthly subscription. So for an extraordinarily low cost, you can start doing treatment right at home at your own pace with complete confidentiality and complete anonymity as well. So, 
please connect with us. Put a quick like on this video and share it with friends and family so that we can expand this conversation. Take great care of you and we'll talk soon.